Do you know who is in your building? A need for greater security. Peace of mind, now more than ever. Welcome to Security Identification Systems. Hello, I'm Anthony Zagami, President of Security Identification Systems. A lot just happened when I walked into this room that you might have missed. My ID was scanned, my photograph was verified, and I was scanned for weapons in an instant. That's what we're all about, providing security with appropriate technologies for speed and convenience. Our systems are fast, reliable, and are proving themselves in real-world situations every day. Coming up, cutting-edge technology like this to prevent attacks from psychopaths like this. How it might save the lives of America's children next. We'll take a look at this technology. My next guest de developed it to keep people safe and maybe help prevent future tragedies at our schools. Joining us now, Anthony Zagami. He is CEO and founder of Security Identification Systems. Anthony, to a technophobe like me, very briefly describe how this system works. Well, for a visitor, we swipe their driver's license, take their photograph, we'll check a watch list, and if they're clean and there's no problems, they would be issued a pass. If there is a problem, the watch list would then notify the individuals and then they would stop that access. So the technology uh, works in concert with uh, various other systems so that if you take, uh, we also produce the student ID card. Mm -hmm. So if an, e an ID card was produced, it also works with the locking systems in the dormitories and other buildings on campus. So this also works in concert with a, with a camera system so that you have surveillance. Mm. So if this was essentially the camera system would uh, signal areas that would mm -hmm. uh, we would know that the people are in, we could then shortcut that by controlling the door locks as well as providing a positive ID through the identity well, management. Tonight, a local system. security company believes some of the deaths in Virginia could have been prevented. We've seen the video over and over again, and following the Virginia Tech shooting, the big question being asked is, why wasn't the school locked down after the first shooting in the dorm room left two people dead? It's very difficult to stop a student from that first incident, from that first crisis. Uh, it's, you're playing in their sandbox. Two hours later, 30 more were killed in a classroom building across campus. Jonathan Fox specializes in security systems with the Cisco company in West Palm Beach. Clearly, in hindsight, they thought the first shooting was an isolated incident. Uh, it wasn't. When it comes to security, surveillance cameras are usually considered step number one. But Cisco says communication is just as important in a handheld device like this could have prevented the second attack at Virginia Tech. Communication is the most critical part of a crisis and emergency procedures should have been put in place notifying not only students, faculty, but law enforcement of what was occurring. And this should have been an audible alert on campus to also an alert sent to their cell phones or to their PDAs, not just to desktops where a person might not be. Cisco says metal detectors at every entrance of a college campus aren't realistic. Stop. Exit left. Stop. Exit left. But there are reasonable ways to feel safe and not in fear of reliving another tragedy. I'm talking access control to cl cameras, circuits, uh, closed circuit TV, to identity management, student badging, and visitor management. And there should be a network system. A lot of this acts as a deterrent. You can keep the damage to a minimum by having emergency procedures in place and communication once again is the most critical part of a crisis. Cisco says heightened concerns over security are incident driven and following yesterday's shooting at Virginia Tech they received several phone calls from local college campuses. Live in West Palm Beach, Daniel Dubatz, News Channel 5. It's 5 o'clock. This is WPBF News 25 where you always get your weather first. It's a place where just saying who you are and signing in doesn't cut it. Uh, with everything going on um, in the country now, we want to know who's in the building at all times. How a local hospital is going high tech in an effort to keep its patients and their families safe. From keeping babies in to keeping sexual predators out, a local hospital is making sure anyone who walks through their doors stays safe. Bonnie Ghosh was there to take an exclusive sneak peek inside the upgraded security efforts at JFK Medical Center.
you have a driver license? 42.14. Okay. Can you step back in front of the camera? In most hospitals, getting in to see your loved one isn't this complicated. I gotta give it my driver license. They take a picture of me. They give me a sticker, no problem. Surely I'm the right guy to go inside of the, the hospital. Came in, they had to be screened, driver's license, photo ID, and then you get a badge. At JFK Medical Center, just saying who you are and signing in doesn't cut it. You could write anything you want. I could write Mickey Mouse. The hospital's new high-tech fast-pass security system, though, is a little different than Disney's. The, the whole system takes two or three minutes, really. It's a swipe of the driver's license and the, then the picture, and you're gone. It actually imprints a uh, photo and puts the information of the visitor into a database so we can track those visitors. And why would the hospital want to gather all that information about you? Like anybody, we want to know who is in our building. Uh, with everything going on um, in the country now, we want to know who's in the building at all times. Especially if it's a person who shouldn't be there. Predators or people with bad intentions like to be anonymous. And FastPass gives them an identity. They can cross-check criminal, sexual predator, as well as internal watch lists. But swiping your driver's license and taking your picture isn't the only way that the security team is keeping tabs of you here at the JFK Medical Center. They also have over 100 cameras located inside and outside the hospital. So we can view and see everywhere in the stairwells, all the floors. But wouldn't all this monitoring seem a bit intrusive? So it doesn't bother you at all? No. How come? I come because it's a very secure. You worried about them knowing every speeding ticket you've ever gotten or anything like that? It doesn't matter to me, no. As long as I'm safe, I'm fine. Bonnie Ghosh, WPBF News 25. At our 22,000 square foot facility in West Palm Beach, Florida, we are developing the future of physical security and access control systems. Our goal is to create systems that are user-friendly, fast, and as unobtrusive as possible. Whether you're trying to control access to your offices, no matter how large or small, or keeping track of hundreds of passengers and crew on a major ship, even securing an entire seaport, Security Identification Systems Corporation can tailor a specific solution to meet your needs.